Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And the Lions have booked their spot in the 2024 Curry Cup Final. It'll be a home Curry Cup Final uh, for the Lions after beating the Cheaters 43 points to 34 despite not being in the game for a good half an hour. And uh, the Cheaters, I'll tell you what, credit to them because they came out like a house on fire, put the Lions under serious pressure, some really, really... Um, poor moments from the Lions. Um, they were 14-0 down after about 11 minutes at a stage and had to come back. But the Cheers never went away. And uh, credit to both teams for producing a really good semi-final. A semi-final that was in the balance up until you know, three, four minutes left. Which is what you want from playoff rugby, to be fair. As a Lions fan, not particularly happy because, first of all, I think we didn't play particularly well. Uh, and also it was very stressful. But uh, as a neutral, very, very good. And I think that this competition, which has been a bit of a weird space the last few years, has really turned up this season. We've had a really good Curry Cup, and I think this game kind of showed just how valuable this tournament still is. Hopefully, we will see a lot of people flocking to Ayers Park next weekend for the Curry Cup final. I'm definitely going to be there. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, really hope that we, we see a really good... Uh, performance from them as well. Uh, before we go to the game, please I mean, we'll go through the game. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Um, yeah, as I said, uh, bounce the ball. It's a strange, strange thing. Early on, Ethan Vensel uh, chipped over the, uh, the top, and the ball bouncing directly back into him. Him having the pace going over in the fourth minute. Similarly, about five minutes later, uh, Nico Stein chipping the ball over to Pierre Mafura and Marius Lowell actually well ahead. And if that ball bounces towards them, they run into a, a try. It doesn't. It bounces over their head. Cheetahs turn around, counterattack, and Vince goes in the corner. 11 minutes gone. Lions 14 nil down. And you're thinking, oh, well, here we go. And continue a few penalties as well. But then... Uh, it's all about pressure. And, uh, you know, Kate Volta, Jared Keynes put a lot of pressure on Ethan Vensel. Charged down. It came back into the hands of uh, Jared Keynes, who went over for the first try for the Lions. Kate Volta making no um, mistake. Uh, for us, Nathan Tlavakanya, actually, showed a bit of a good turn of pace on the half-hour mark. He got through one tackle and then dropped the trailer, dropped the, 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 the boat, dropped the caravan. And uh, he went over in the third minute with a good 20, about 15, 20-meter sprint. Uh, very impressive from him, to be honest. And uh, that was followed up by Cape Volta conversion. But then, uh, two minutes back later, the Lions switched off, to be honest. Bit of ball watching. Cohen Jasper went over in the 33rd minute. Marco Andy's having to deputize for Ethan Vensel with the conversion. Missing out. Um, but uh, just for half time, we were on It was a really good break for the Lions. Um, good work from Vasco Plane. Bringing in Quan Horn. Bringing in around Jonker. Uh, they managed to keep the ball in play and eventually go back down the left-hand side. Find a bit of space for Ruan Fent to go over in the corner. Um, and Kate Bolton missing the conversion to me. It was 19-all uh, at half time. And uh, I spoke about in, in the watch song when we started about starting strong and making sure the Lions got ahead early. And they did just that. The 40, the 50 seconds, I think it was, into it. Marius Lowe went over. Kate Bolton, you're thinking, there we go. Now we start turning up. Let's try and make sure we, we put the pressure on. Well, two minutes later, Victor Sekiketi went over with Lions once again turning off. I think if there's one thing to take out of this game, it's about th that, that sort of turn off, that not paying attention. Um, so Victor Sekiketi went over. Um, the, the conversion missed. But then Vernon Paolo went over in the back of a, a rolling mall. Looked like could potentially be double banking. They didn't really check it. Uh, the choose once again were in the lead. Um, with the conversion missed by George Lawrence, 26 points, 29 for a while. And then I'll tell you what, uh, Sunil Nahamba take a bow. He came on, uh, took a three-pointer in the 64th minute when Marius Lowe went into the bin for a tip tackle. And then what a try he scored in the 64th minute. He had three or four players around him and just so, so quick on his feet. Shifted inside, found a bit of space, got through half a, t a tackle, Bang, he went over, added the conversion, 36 points, 29. And uh, about eight minutes later, Mornay Brandon might have scored the most ridiculous finish of all time. Go and look at the highlights. He was tripped and he fell over, tried to get back up, sort of sprung to his feet, then sort of rolled. It looked, literally looked like a fish out the water. But he eventually managed to get over and, uh, and dot down. Uh, despite the late George Lawrence try, you know, the game was pretty much wrapped up in terms of some of the stats for example um 45 percent possession for the lions shows you how they didn't really dominate as much as they would like only 41 percent overall um territory uh, in terms of try six tries a piece five conversions to two so that was very much the difference 
but meters made a lot of meters from both teams 450 from the alliance 482 from the cheaters clean breaks more from lines just defenders beating same amount for both teams gain line carries very similar more passes more on the cheaters more offloads as well uh, more kicks from hands from the lines i thought towards the end the game management got a lot better uh terms of tackles made not a lot made from either team to be honest F both teams fewer than 100 and both less than 80 percent tax success rate if we look at line outs, the Lions losing one, scrums, Lions, Lions are actually very poor at the scrum. Cheaters are much, much better. But uh, discipline also proved costly for the Cheaters in the end. I could see a couple of penalties when they didn't need to. Uh, but it was a pretty even game. And that's the, that's the exciting thing. For the Lions, so much they need to improve on moving forward, to be honest, uh, into next week. They didn't quite look like they were at the races, I think. You know, playing against the Griffins, you know, last weekend and then this weekend is a massive step up. And I don't think they quite arrived whereas the Cheetahs hit the ground running. So that's the line thing to make sure they do next weekend is get going nice and early. Let me know what you thought about the game down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.